Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon. I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, Twin Flame, Romance, Life, Path, and Purpose. You can book that on my website, michellefondenauthor.com. And don't forget to download my free Twin Flames Affirmation Meditation. The link is below. Welcome to the weekly Twin Flame Tarot reading messages for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the couple. Today is Monday. It is October 18th, 2021. How are you doing, Twin Flame? So today, Mercury's last day is in retrograde. It was stationed and then moved direct. Thank God for that. However, we've got this challenging, harsh full moon in Aries that is happening on Tuesday and Wednesday. So Tuesday the 19th, Wednesday, the 20th of October, and the effects of this full moon are going to last for two weeks. So to that end, tune in tomorrow, Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to be doing a live stream at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Put it on your calendar. Put in that alarm so you don't miss it. And we are going to do some card pulls because this Aries full moon is about Mars energy and Pluto energy. And so Mars is about taking action. Pluto is about something you didn't take action at in the past that you need to, to move forward with your life. It is the spark that is going to be needed under your butt to get moving and get going. So we're going to do some card pulls on what you need to do to light that spark under your butt. So we're going to get started with the reading. To start, we're going to say a prayer as usual. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Twin Flames, Guardian Angels, let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels, please help Twin Flames in this collective understand what they need to know to learn and to grow this week. Okay, so we're going to pick four Divine Feminines first. Uh, move, move the cards over a little bit. So this is for divine feminines. What are divine feminines learning this week? Divine feminines, guardian angels. Okay, perfect. We are using the daily messages from your angels and we are going to pick four divine feminines for this week. What are divine feminines learning this week, angels? Okay, and next, this is the world of Answers Oracle. And my sister and I, who created this beautiful deck, are trying to figure out a way that you guys can purchase this from us. <laughs> and uh, we are formulating all the details to come soon to you. <laughs> so this is for Divine Feminines, Divine Feminines, Guardian Angels. Here we go. And now we're going to shimmy on over to the Divine Masculines and see what the Divine Masculine energy is for this week in Union Energies. Where are Divine Masculines in their Union Energies toward their Divine Feminines? And next we're going to pick from this deck for Divine Masculines, the Daily Messages. And next from the World of Answers. The World of Answers in this reading, this set of readings is a qualifier card. So it's going to like enhance the Oracle and Tarot card. Okay. And next we're going to pick for the couple. This is the union energies for the week for the twin flame couple. As we move over into Scorpio season this week, right? This is crazy. Already Scorpio season. Scorpios are some of my favorite people, by the way. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius sun, Cancer moon, Cancer rising and Aquarius moon. So I happen to really like Scorpios a lot, a lot. I like water signs. Okay. And next, this is the qualifier for the twin flame couple in union. 
Awesome. And now we're going to pick the romance energy. What do the romance angels have to say to twin flames moving toward union this week? And uh, it's really interesting because in my group coaching on the call that we just had, I was remarking how, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> okay, I was remarking, I was saying how 50% of those on the call were in some type of union with their twin flame and 50% weren't. So it's really interesting how, you know, how this, unfold. <laughs> so let's get the romance energy for the twin flame couple. And next we're going to get DM messages to the divine feminine, divine masculines. What do you have to say to your divine feminines this week, starting October 18th, 2021 divine masculines. What do you have to say to your divine feminines today? Awesome. Okay. So let's pick first for divine feminines. Oh, look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Divine feminines. Guess what? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Yay. Um, it's so funny. I'm watching, I'm re-watching the Disney ABC series Once Upon a Time on Disney Plus. And it's funny because if you have never watched it, <laughs> it's about storybook characters, right? And a fairy tale storybook characters. And Grumpy from the Seven Dwarves, Snow White and Seven Dwarves, every time there's a curse, because there's a lot of curses that happen, he always says, it's coming! So reunion is coming! Look what we've got! I kid you not! Divine Feminines, you can't make this stuff up. We've got the Lover's card with a romantic connection. So the Lover's card is about a divine soul connection and romantic connection in this deck that my sister and I did. This is about as close to a twin flame connection as you can get in our World of Answers deck because it's the Taj Mahal. And if you know the history of the Taj Mahal, it's a king, if you will, who constructed the Taj Mahal for his wife, who was his twin flame. So this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then you got the giving and receiving card. So I feel like this is your time to receive. Oh my gosh, divine confidence. It's time for you to receive your lover, your romantic connection. It's coming in for you. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Can't make the stuff up. No, 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 you cannot. <laughs> All right, Divine Masculines. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. Look at this. Okay, I wanna show you this card first. This is from the daily messages from your angels. And you got Cupid and it's like Cupid arrow strikes Divine Masculines. Cupid arrow strikes Divine Masculines. I'm like getting giddy with this reading. This reading is making me so giddy because I'm so happy for all of you, including myself. I'm so happy for you guys that like for Divine Masculines, Cupid's arrow is striking. And here is Divine Masculine, Knight of Air. This is the most speedy, quick, lightning fast energy in the deck. And look at Divine Masculine getting on his horse, or his unicorn and moving as fast as he possibly can towards you because Cupid's arrow just struck him or her, right? But this is crazy. It literally says at the bottom, and as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I typically don't read the cards. I feel through them intuitively, but it says events that occur at great speed. Yeah. Cupid's arrow is striking and events are occurring at great speed. Now I feel with this full moon in Aries with Mars and Pluto, it's like the match is being lit underneath divine masculines, but because Mars is about action, Mars is about moving forward. This is, even though this is an air sign, Mars is very much 
a forward moving motion card. It's a yang energy. Crazy. And then you've got win-win situation. And what I feel like that's divine masculines, it's that, you know, if things are gonna be negotiated here. Things are gonna be negotiated here with your divine feminines. It's this law of giving and receiving. And I just feel like, yeah, you know this already. You know this going into it, that there will be negotiations. You know it. It's not just gonna be like, oh, I'm coming in and you're gonna open your arms wide to me, divine feminines. There's been a lot of history, <laughs> not only in this lifetime, but in many lifetimes, there's been a lot of history. So there will be discussions. There will be a win-win situation going on here. It's not gonna be all or nothing. It's not gonna be your way or the highway. It's gonna be like, okay, let's enter into negotiations about what this is and how we move forward. Crazy. So again, we have for the couple's union energy, we have this Knight of Fire, which is again, coming forward, Mars, right? The Knight, the masculine coming forward toward the feminine. In this case, we're talking about twin flame union, right? This is passion. This is heat. This is sexual passion. It's coming forward passion. Now, here's where it gets a little bit like, um, uh, let's see, a damper is being put on, if you will, a damper. Now, it's almost like you can have a gas pedal and a brake, but it can't be all of either, right? Otherwise, you don't move forward. Or you move forward so fast that you crash and burn. So I really feel like this, this intense Cupid's arrow that has struck Divine Masculines, the Divine Feminines feeling the love coming forward from their Divine Masculines, we all have to keep in mind, this is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual connection. Above all else, it's a spiritual connection. So I feel like this acceptance and let go and let God basically are the same card in two different decks, same card. Acceptance is about surrender to God and the angels. Let go and let God is saying exactly the same thing. And what I feel for this energy moving forward with the fire under the butt is saying, look, it's going to move forward. There's fire moving this energy forward. There's air moving this energy forward. Fire and air moving this energy forward. What does air do to fire? It in flames the fire, right? You want to try to minimize air when there's a fire, when there's so much wind, so much air, that fire ignites even faster and burns hotter. So I feel like the acceptance piece is that this is first and foremost, a spiritual connection twin flames. And as you can see, like I'm heating up just talking about this. It's, it's first and foremost, a spiritual connection. And what does that mean? That means that yes, there's sexual passion. Yes, divine masculines are coming to the realization that they need to take action now. And divine feminines are in that receiving mode of knowing that their love is coming now. But we need to remember, it's not all about sex. It's not all about passion. It's, it's a mix of a lot of different things. And that's what you really need to keep in mind, Twin Flame. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna pick another card because I want to see what's up with this. Um, angels, can you please give me a qualifier for this, please? Angels and guides, please give me a qualifier for this in this Twin Flame Union energy. Okay. So I feel like in the past for many of you, many of you, there has been a third party situation for many of you, not all of you. Okay. Now I want to say every time I say this and I'm saying it again, in case you forgot interference or a third party situation can be many different things for many different people. Okay. Some of you were in marriages. Some of you had a boyfriend or girlfriend. Some of you um, had a job situation. And I know I talked to so many of you. Some of you like met your person on the job 
and they were a boss or you were the boss or there was some kind of situation where there was interference where you guys couldn't be together. There are other situations where there's a huge age gap. There's other situations where there are distance issues interfering with being together. So there's gonna be forgiveness and forgiveness is huge. And you guys are gonna learn about each other, forgiving each other, learning about each other and accepting each other. We got that acceptance card. But with this interference, I believe is talking about the past because it says to go slow. Now, we've got all this really, really fast moving energy moving forward toward reunion this week. Really fast energy. But look, the angels are saying go slow. Take the time to get to know each other. Go slow. And I feel the interference is the reason why you need to go slow. Not that the interference is here any longer. For most of you, the interference has been gone. It's been dead, done and gone. But just because the interference is not there, it doesn't mean that you guys have to speed things up. It's almost like there is so much forgiving that needs to be had on both parties or one party. And there's so much learning about this person that you think you know, but you may know them really well on a soul level, but you don't know them really well on a physical level, like on a 3D living space level. So that's why your angels are like, look, you've got to go slow. You can't just speed track into this relationship. Okay, so I am going to get a qualifier for this because again, Angels, what does this mean? What does divine masculine mean when divine, oopsie, let's do this again. What does divine masculine mean when they are saying this particular thing, please? Again, some of this has to do with the past and um, some of this has to do with the present. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna decode this for you because I do feel like we're getting rid of things from the past that don't make sense. We're getting rid of thought patterns from the past, both divine feminines and masculines. We're getting rid of thought patterns from the past that just don't make sense, especially this week. I feel like with Mars and Pluto square, I think they're square, conjunct or square, um, and this Aries full moon, I really feel that it's, that's what it's kind of about is getting rid of the past stuff that does not make sense, but moving forward on stuff that does make sense. So DM says, I can't stop thinking about you. And then the first card that came out that confused me was we both know I'm not the one for you, but that's past, that's past tense because it's the qualifiers were just being near you is intoxicating and my life is not as together as it seems. Okay, so in the past, because their life was not together, and this card, this card has come out almost every single week. I feel like this card has come out nearly every single week. Um, I feel like in the past, since their life was not together, they just felt that they were not your right person, Divine Feminines. And it's almost like they, they measured their value with how much their life was in order. And now it's almost like they can't do that anymore. It's, it's not a valid excuse anymore. It's not a valid reason anymore. So they know that being near you is intoxicating. They're thinking about you all the time, Divine Feminines. And they're ready to move forward because Cupid's arrow, no matter what, is going to strike them in the butt and they're gonna get on their horse or unicorn or car. <laughs> and they're gonna be rushing towards you because it's almost like they have to. Isn't that weird? It's almost like they have to. It's a very strange uh, sentiment I'm feeling in this is like, it's almost like they're going to reach a point, Divine Masculine is gonna reach a point this week at which they realize that they really don't have a choice but to move forward towards you. But go slow, go slow, and um, come into this area of acceptance and forgiveness, especially towards your divine masculine or divine masculine towards your divine feminine. So I hope this was helpful this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. 
You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or my meditation course. You can also join our group coaching. The link is below and I will see you in the next video.